Oh, all right. There we go. All better. All right. Happy Tuesday. Oh, I'm already getting sassed here. <laughs> I hope I get scurvy. I don't want scurvy. That's why I pack my ships with lots of citrus. I'm saved by the healthy limes. Oh, all right. Let's see here. Oh, wait. Where'd my drop? Where'd all my stuff go? There we go. Okay. Come on. Open the game. Come on. Open the game. Ha ha! There it is. All right. Lovely. Well, happy Tuesday. Last night of Lamaze class has just wrapped up. So, time for some piracy. Now, it has been a week since I've done this, so I'm trying to remember what on earth I was doing. Looks like I was capturing some cities here for the Dutch. That's nice of me. Let's see. Let's run down through my statuses real quick and see what's going on. Uh, I've got some pistols. I've got a bunch of money. Got a bunch of sugar. So I'm probably headed back east to do something with that. Wealth points. I'm not quite there yet. I, uh, I haven't banked enough gold. I've got land, though. Right? Land is the aristocracy here. If I could just uh, find a little more land, I'd be all set. Found all the treasures, got all the ranks I'm going to get. The Spanish can... There's no repairing that relationship. Uh, I've found two lost cities, and I've gotten married. Uh, I feel pretty happy with how we're doing here. Um feel like I'm, I'm doing it all right, so... Okay, there we go. Just need to turn off that phone so it doesn't go off. Okay, let's actually get to some real piracy. Let's see, do I know of any treasure? Oh, well, that's worse than useless. The something head in some sort of a bay. That's where I'm going to find my uncle. Montalban's hideout is back near St. Oda, but I don't know if I'm... If I'm able to face him, I am getting older. Although I could probably try. That might be fun. Go sell my sugar, buy a couple more items to help keep me alive, and then go find his hideout and just attack it, attack it, attack it until uh, I win. That might just be what we do. Ah, do, 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 do. Where is Raimundo? He was last seen headed up to Santiago. And he would know information about my uncle, so maybe I'll try that. Ooh, come back here. Where are you going? Should start the stream off with a nice prize. Also, where did I go? Alright, Baron Raimondo's headed towards Santiago. My aim's a little off. It's not my best work. <laughs> Better. Wait, he set sail 380 days ago? That was a year! And you guys don't know where he is? Uh... Oh, why did it take the food first? No, 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 no. Come on, do basic math. I just need 16 tons. You load 16 tons. What'll you get? 
I hear a Spanish hunter. Let's hear a Spanish pirate hunter somewhere. Okay, hold on, who's where? That's a treasure ship. Ooh. Come on. Hit him. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what you get, pirates. Wait, I'm the pirate. That's what you get, Spain. Don't need her. However, I want that uh, treasure ship. Ooh, it's already beat up because of that storm. I don't want to do any extra damage to it. I also don't want it to shoot at me! Packs as much of a wallop as I do. Those 36 guns don't play. Ah, the wind has died of my sails. No, 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 no. Ow! That hurt. There we go. That's beautiful. Couple trade galleons. Couple more trade galleons. Where am I going here? Alright, um. Don't see the Baron. Oh, it's a fast galleon escorting a trade galleon. Okay. I don't see Raimundo, but that doesn't really mean anything. So, let me pop over this way. Oh, come on. Come on, wind. <laughs> That's alright. Just glad you made it, Wawa. Welcome. Don't attack. Don't attack. Come on. Fight the wind. Don't make me walk overland to get to port. Oh, alright. I'm just going to have to tack back and forth, I guess. Looking for... here we go. Finally getting somewhere. There you go, go north. I'm gonna pop in here, sell some goods, prepare some ships. Then we're going back to Santiago because I have rumors of the Baron. Or this is where I die of old age, because I'm never going to make it to this city. There we go. Oh. Hmm. Ultimatum to the city of Tortuga. Nah, not about that life. Got other things to do. Ah, this is being real sluggish tonight. Ivysaur, welcome back. Hello. Man, I, Pirates is being super slow. <laughs> I wish I could say yes because I've already done it twice, but I don't think so. Um, I am going to, though, hopefully find my uncle who will give me a piece and then we'll see what happens. I'm also thinking about making a run at the Marquis because I'm not getting any younger. And I have a good amount of equipment now, so I think I might build up my forces and then go attack Montalban's hideout and try and defeat him for the, the big win. Otherwise, I'm just going to retire with my wealth and my pretty wife. Help you trade with enemy merchants? Eh, uh, don't want to spend that. I'm French nobility. You're a guard captain. Let's talk about the hierarchy here. Yeah, my face is looking a little grizzled.
All right, come on. <laughs> right, still misses the headshot with two pistols. That looks like me trying to play, um, like, Warzone with the akimbo, like, you know. I got two pistols going, I can't hit anything. I don't know how people use those stupid things. I mean, I clearly they do, because I k get killed by those all the time. But I can never be the one to pull it off. It's just not for me. My existing crew isn't going to like that I'm cutting into their cut, but... I could use the men. Okay, so he's on his way to Santiago. I need to defeat the Baron. So that I can get another map piece for my uncle. Got two treasure galleons with me. They're holding all my booty. Whoa, the Dutch have just captured a city. Another treasure galleon? This is so much cash. I want it. Turn, 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 turn. Now, take down their flags. Strike your colors. Strike your colors. This isn't going to end well for you. Oh, they hadn't surrendered yet. Ooh, oopsie. But here we go. <laughs> Fighting a Spanish naval officer. Michael better have a lot of money for all the problems you're going through for him. Yeah, right? Like, better be a rich uncle. You have the deed to a sugar plantation or something. That's what I'm looking for. 24 tons of luxuries. That's beautiful. And I think one of these places, uh, 14, 16, 18, 22, 16, I know there's a place, 28, all right, St. Eustatius, got to head back that way to sell those, get the best, 35, even better, all right, we're Antigua bound, we're going to sell those luxuries, after I figure out where the hell the Baron is. Oh, Baron Raimundo! He's evil! He's been slowly te- Wait a minute. He left Havana 300 and like 95 days ago. He's just getting to this side of Cuba? He's the slowest sailor in history. No. Yay. For a second I thought I was about to get hit with a lot of grape shot. Instead, it'll be his crew taking a bath in hot lead. Oh, I got the point in before him. It gave me the one piece I didn't really need. So something head. Ugh. All right, 
Let's stop off at Tortuga and sell this thing. Or actually, Mariana, that's fine with me. I mean, gosh, they'll take a decent chunk off my hands right there. Let's get rid of some of the cannon for right now. Don't need that many guns. And let's sell some of the food. Better. And then we can sell his galleon. Alright. I'm gonna tack back and forth a bit because we are Antigua bound. I wanna sell those luxuries. And then I want to zip down the islands and go to, like, Barbados and whatnot. I'll try and pick up a better, a bit more crew along the way. So that I can make a run towards, uh... Attacking the, uh, the Marquis. Because I have to start thinking about Endgame now. I'm getting older. I have to decide when is enough enough for my pirate days. Alright, I need the wind to change a little bit so that I can come back north again. I really need to be able to come back north. There we go. Come on, wind. Let me slip right through this narrow channel. Ooh, I can't believe I pulled that off. Ugh. Come on, wind. I'm almost there. You know you want to help me get there. Right before the storm hits would be nice, too. Oh, wow, I clearly haven't been to an English uh, city in a while. They had some land for me. Ah, uh, you know, let's dance. Maybe you'll have a mission for me, or you'll let me pick out some equipment. See if I can do this without headbutting her. Oh gosh, it's gonna be like a fast dance. Fortunately, I've got those dancing slippers. So that gives me a little bit of, uh... In case I screw up, it gives me a little bit of leeway. She's asking for a headbutt with all this fast dancing. Yeah, like, this is just a lot of steps and a lot of moves. Oh, there we go. Finally got a little... Finally got some of the timing down there.
Oh. I definitely misclicked a couple times, so thankfully I have excellent dancing shoes. <laughs> there were a couple times where she was like, go left, and I was like, forward? 3,000 for a Mr. Connery. He's in the city of Guadalupe. Oh, lovely. I'll note that in my luck. It aids sailing near hurricanes and storms. That's actually nice. Gilderland. Governor Martinique's daughter. Thirty-five gold per luxury. That's a thing of beauty. Lovely. And then somewhere along the way I picked up some random goods and dumped those. want to head down to Barbados. I got to take advantage of that price for spices. Then I'll probably get rid of as much sugar as I can. Come back through Curacao. And then I'm going to head west and look for the um, Marquis hideout. Now, I, my uncle is somewhere near something head. And... It's somewhere, so it's the underside of an island. It's something called Head. And I don't think... Yep, those kinds of landmarks don't show up on this map, so if I don't... That's a shame. I'm not going to be able to find them if I don't know at least the city to narrow it down. Unless I sail around and just happen to find it, because that has happened. Mm. So I finished copy edits on my article today, sent those back to the journal. They're going to make those changes, and then, not this issue, but the next issue, my article will be out, which is very exciting. It's my first one in print. And of course, now that I've sent the copy edits, I'm freaking out that there was something I may have missed, or, you know, a word I misspelled or something, and that'll end up in print. But you know what? That happens all the time. Still, don't want it to happen to me. <laughs> so, we will see. Uh, wind, you're really, you're really fighting me here. Devil's Rock. What kind of thing am I looking for? The something head. Okay. So, something head. I have to keep my eye out for. Okay, that was easy. Alright, we're going to beat up this guy to get a few more people in my crew. Then we're going to head west. Head west, young man. We're going to go look for the hideout. Southeast of Camp Pelchi. Yeah, like I was trying to think of in my head another place that would look like that. Oh good, he's got a rapier as well. So just two fast attackers. Ow! Did 
did not like facing him with that stupid rapier. Take a few more. Ugh. Oh boy. Alright, yeah, if I'm gonna fight him, I think I should probably go do it now. Let's see here. What is this? It's the something head. Uh, Margarita. Down by Trinidad Way. There's Gibraltar. Cartagena. Hmm. Catching. Yeah. Hmm. He's in the city of Guadalupe. And that's somewhere near Santa Oda. Uh, I'm worried that if I go, if I do another rest, I'm gonna be too old to do anything. Um I'm afraid that if I if I rest, I'm not gonna be young enough to actually defeat him when the time comes. I could retire now. I I've done a lot. I was hoping to maybe get one more family member. I guess I do care of what happens to them. What can I say? Well, you know what? This is what This is what this was invented for. We're gonna save, and I think we're gonna try to risk it. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I can always retire to a life of comfort on Curacao with my wife. Alright, I got my crew. We're not going to go ashore because more people will desert. They'll desert faster than I can recruit them. Of course, this would help if I could get some wind at my back. That would be a welcome change. Spanish Raider. <laughs> There's a lack of Boeing things that I am disappointed. I actually... <laughs> I got re-watching part of that game. I really should make a clip of all the times Robin Hood just straight up kills people in that game. Like, the like the very first day, right? You have to rescue that peasant woman. And he kills him. Like, they even give the guard a name, right? He's not just guard. He's Jack. You kill Jack in broad daylight. And she's like, oh, thank you, Robin. <laughs> I can see the rumors about you are true. <laughs> that I just straight up kill people, huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, Patlanicus, how are you doing? New warship, huh? Although you might get to see me be uh, thrown overboard. I'm pretty sure my crew is about to revolt and throw a fit. So we're going to throw them into glorious battle first. Hopefully to save my life. Oh, oh. Yeah, this there's just no wind. I can't get anywhere. Hmm, slow going. Uh, it's been a while. But I'm, and, and Wawa probably knows this better than me, so correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure I get, like, stranded on an island, and I have to, uh, yep, there goes one of my ships. 
Oh gosh, and a huge chunk of my crew. Ugh. Um. Wow, and a whole bunch of my food too. That stinks. That really stinks. Well, my uh, first officer just took off with part of my fleet. So that's a problem. I don't think I have enough people now to attack the Baron's the Marquis' Fortress. Ooh, that's a really good question. I don't know if he... I think I lost some money. I think you might be right. I want to... Save that, and then I want to try something. Let me... Rival, battle, quit. Real quick, this is where I was at Curacao. Oh, yeah, he took off with like 30,000 of my money. Ah, uh, all right. Hmm. So I'm too far from the Marquis hideout to really make it there before my crew throws a fit. I could always force them to stay aboard by just dumping the ship. Let's try that. See if I can force them to stay aboard. Bye. All right, this is about data gathering. We're gonna... I'm gonna ditch some of the food. Ugh, eight tons. Fine. There we go. Six months. Mm, no, too much. Oh, there's nobody here. There's nobody here for me to recruit. All right, 63 men are gone. So now they're all aboard my ship. They can't go anywhere else. And if I have to, I'll just attack a boat to refill my food stores as I go. I'm going to sail light and fast. And see if I can make it to the Baron in time. And then I can get most of these disgruntled pirates killed in the attack on his city. I mean give them lots of money to help them with their retirement. Yeah. <sighs> Good eye about the money, uh, Pat. I totally missed that. They took like 30,000. Holy cow. It's like they don't trust me. Yeah, I know. You're not happy, but guess what? It's the life of a pirate. It's so far away. <laughs> Where I'm headed, it's so far away. And, you know, we may find out. You have enough money to please 60 crew or make 91 content. Right, right. I could always, I could always get a bunch of them killed, downsize them. Um, but, I mean, I, I feel like the times that I've done this before, if you want to attack the... Uh, <laughs> they are absolutely after my money. Um, if I want to attack the guy's uh, fortress, I feel like I need at least 200 to make this work. Um, Montbon has got too many native allies and defenders for this to work. And I'm also afraid that if I just cool my heels for six months, I'll start out with a bunch of pirates, but I will be too old to actually ever beat him. Then I'll have to just retire and end it. So we're we're gonna do a little bit of exploration here to see what can happen at the end game. Cutlass head. Blood reef. You know, I feel like this is what flogging was for in the Navy. Like, you belly ache too much? I take the skin off your back, right? Anyone else want to go back to port? Make an example of two or three of the guys? 
then we go from there. Like, I have titles of nobility from three different major powers. I have land all over the Caribbean. I could give these people a very decent life as, you know, servants and whatnot in my employ. And all they want to do is gripe about the, like, 600 gold they're going to get if we split up. All right, I've almost made it around. I've almost made it around. If the wind holds, I think I can get down to Santa Oda. And then we're just going to look for the base. We're going to look for the base. I'm definitely racing time here. Spanish bounty is up to probably 59,000 at this point. I suppose they could uh, turn on me for the bounty. Hey, I called it exactly. 59,000. Alright, Santa Oda. It's, it's His hideout is going to be somewhere either south or west of Santa Oda. So we're gonna we're just gonna go and explore and find it. I have great confidence. This this sort of dumb luck has worked for me in the past. Almost there. Come on. I wish I wish the wind would blow a little more. Come on. Pull out your handkerchiefs. Whatever you gotta do to pick up that speed. Menorca Nuevo. Alright, I just gotta slip past Via Hermosa without being attacked. I have no no quarrel with you, troop transport. I've totally sacked this city too. 80 soldiers. I should sack it again. <laughs> There's nobody there. Of course now it's about to get a garrison. Yep. There it is, Santa Oda. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna sail past it. <laughs> no, I don't want to... I don't want to land at Santa Oda. I was clearly going ashore. I I was obviously blowing on my sails, right? If everyone on deck just blows into the, the sails, it should work. There's a big old wind, uh, thing. Oh, wait. What's this? Is this anything? Or is this just ruins? Also, accidentally landing at, um, accidentally landing at Santa Oda cost me 14 crew members. All right, let's see what we're talking about here. I found the hideout. Yeah, I lost 14 people because of that stupid land on uh, it's all pirate skill it's all pirate skill no i'm i'm stupidly lucky there, <laughs> there's no reason that this should have worked i truly don't know what's the best i think i like this it'll create a bottleneck and that'll let me pick them apart as they come in <sighs> he's got native uh, allies You get up there. How close can these guys get? It is easier to find when it's on land. Oh yeah, it totally is. It's a giant, like, fortress town. You can you can't miss it. All right, here's his native allies. Oh boy, yep, they can cover some real distance. Flank attack, high morale, living that good life. Okay, you guys go there. Um, gosh, there's so many. Here they come. Ooh. Oh, yes, please go the long way. Uh, 
I defend. I should fend this off. Nice. So I got a, I got a whole party that's flanking, but you know what? That's fine. They split the they split up their forces. And now my officers are going to get him from the flank. There's no one between me and the gates. I'm just going for it. I'm just going to make a break for the city. Ah, they're coming back. It's curses and damnation. <laughs> I thought they would keep going, maybe. Ah, there was nobody between me and the city. I was just going to make a break for it. Although, I now have, like, local superiority. I'm just going to press my attack, I think. No, I did not mean to change the zoom. I just wanted to change the facing. And... Create a, a new unified front. Because the natives are coming back. But I still want that one guy to make a break for it. <laughs> I think I could get him there before all this goes down. Alright. Shatter this line of natives. <laughs> Ah, uh, plus two morale. That's beautiful. We're gonna hit this group the same way. Hit him in the flanks. Now, all this might be for naught, because I might get there and end up just totally ruining it in the fight against the Count, or the Marquis, whatever his stupid rank is. So I just need to remember that when in doubt, parrying is my friend, and then look for an opportunity to counter-strike. Because I have good armor on, parrying only steps me back a little bit, and I just whittle him down. Yes! Oh, um, I like versatility, but I think I gotta go rapier. God, he jumped it. Ow, are you kidding me? Now what is happening? God damn it. Timing is like really off here. How am I not getting these right? Are you kidding me? He was practically in the room. He's still faster than me? Are you kidding me? Why am I just having so much trouble all of a sudden?
Are you out of your damn mind? I hate his fight. This is so freaking stupid. Ugh, I hate fighting him. He was practically in... He, like, he was in the room, and all of a sudden, he just went on a completely unblockable tear. Like, I told it to jump his attack, like, three times, and it was like, Nope, I take you out at the ankles. God, I can't stand that fight. Alright, let's, uh... Where was my last arrival? I clearly must have gotten flustered because he was so close and uh, no I don't want to talk to the abbot how did I how do I have even less men than I did before how do I have even less men than I did before there he is I had 200, now I'm down to like 188. Yeah, I lost my cool because I got frustrated. The controls just weren't working anymore. Couldn't understand why I couldn't... Uh... Why I couldn't do basic things anymore with my guy. He just wouldn't deflect anything. Also, his swing attacks were happening faster than my thrust attacks. Like, uh, I know he's meant to be a boss, but good heavens. Alright. Yeah, I don't like this placement either. I'm just going to get swamped by these guys. Alright, I gotta focus on this group directly in front of me. Hit the archers. Good. We're going to take advantage of... Well, he's the final boss, so expect him to be annoying. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, everything you're saying is right. I started off okay. I thought I had him, and then I just... Ah, I got... My fingers got sluggish, or I got frustrated. This is why I can't stream Dark Souls, because I <laughs> end up just freaking out halfway through. I basically broke this entire flank of their army, so all I gotta do now is deal with whatever comes out of the woods and I'll be okay. <sighs> oh gosh, there's more. Come on, pirates, you got this. Blank attacks, like all this is to the good. All this is going good. It's a flank attack, but I'm on the heights. They might break even. No, I won. All right, let's try this again. Do I stay rapier or do I try? I like the fact when at least one group gets to the gates, they're like, oh, well, might as well let the rest in, right? <laughs> like, just, oh, oh, let them in, whatever we do. Ivy Sore, nice, thank you, yes. Do I go Rapier again, or do I try something that's a better defense because he's just so aggressive on the attack, and I look for those opportunities to just counterattack where I can? I almost had him with the rapier. I feel like I just go rapier again. 
All right, and now I gotta watch this cutscene. How? Wait a minute, that was like three moves. That was like three moves. <laughs> Am I sure I fought the same guy? <laughs> it is a good thing I went with the rapier. I one, two, three quick attacks. That worked out just fine. Oh my gosh. Boy, maybe I'll just have to selectively edit this when I upload it later, so that way, you know, this is how it always went. Now, there's no denying that I safe scummed. I was not about to sail afresh and start over. <sighs> okay, so let me even read what this says. You are a master tactician, sir. Truly, I have done your family a terrible injustice. I give you a hundred thousand gold pieces, which are rightfully yours. I will serve you as your cabin steward. So the guy who screws over my family, costs us immense pain and suffering, is going to, like, take care of me while I sleep? I don't think so. That's a recipe for getting stabbed in the eye. And look at that. The crew's back to not being completely upset, because I'm now rocking almost 300,000. Oh my gosh. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, um... I mean... I Yeah, villains, villains avenged. I did it. I'm married. I found all the treasure. I defeated all the pirates. I've got the three titles I want. I'm a baron in uh, other people's lands. I've only found half the lost cities... And I don't know where my uncle is, but at this point, I kind of don't care. I'm going to be set for a decent score when I retire. I think I just... Uh, I guess I just try and find my uncle if I can, right? Look for him, at least. I'll at least try to look for him. <laughs> but otherwise... The next time the crew gets unhappy, I think I just go to sh shore and retire. I mean, uh, Santa Oda ah, is where good things happen. Found my sh found my treasure there. Found my uh, evil nemesis. Okay, and actually, what does he do? Carpenter, sailmaker, cooper, gunner, surgeon, navigator, quartermaster, cook. Oh, or I don't, maybe it's just symbolic that he serves me. I don't know what that actually means. Um, like, is it just like a degrading position I put him in? Has to be my cabin boy. I need to find some food. I gotta like take a ship in it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my crew fed, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely need to find a uh, ship that I can plunder for food. I don't think you actually kept him. Ah, yes, you'll be my cabin steward, aka I'll uh, I'll just get rid of you the first chance I get. Okay, so the winds are really blowing, and I need to go to shore to find some food, because I've got nothing. Or a nice ship to take. Really would like there to be a bountiful prize. Uh, 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 lost Harbor! I gotta buy food! I gotta buy food! Whew. Okay, that'll buy me a couple months <laughs> until I can, uh... Don't impar. Oh, the treasure fleet's headed for Havana. It has been a while since I've taken a treasure uh, fleet. I might have to go try. Right, yeah, Sid was very clear that um, he doesn't actually like killing in any of his games. Um, you can always, right, you can always rationalize it away, but... I, for some reason, I had it in my head that after you defeated him, he served as, like, 
like a jack of all trades on your ship like he did he like boosted all everyone else's score but i could be completely making that up like i don't know why i thought that was something that happened yes good i need this food whatever you got on board is mine better now we're talking I've almost made it to the Florida Keys. It's funny, I'm actually up to the part in his memoirs where he talks about this game and, you know, basically what it was like to try and recreate a game based on old code um, and how resistant he was to making it in 3D and how he had to sort of eat his words because it ended up coming out really great, but he didn't want to do it in 3D. But I also can't blame him. Like a lot of that early, a lot of the early 3D stuff is just hard to look at. Like Spanish treasure fleet and a governor. There's a lot happening right now. This is a busy, this is a busy little area. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. I, wall of text. Succeeding at defeating uh, Montalban in his hideout earns you a massive um, 100,000 gold, all the specialists for your ship, and Montalban himself as a crew member, is what the wiki says. Okay, I already had all the specialists, I'm pretty sure, uh, but I could see how defeating him and getting that is pretty nice. And him as a crew member. Carpenter, sailman, good cooper, gunner, surgeon, navigator, master, and cook. Gained fame. All right. Well, if he doesn't have a, uh, a particular role, I'll just think of him as, you know, cha my, my chamber boy. Someone's got to clean out the captain's uh, night soil. Come on. Strike his colors before he shoots at me. Oh, God. Too nope. Ow. There we go. Maybe he's just a boosted crewmate that is more efficient at beating enemy crew. That would be nice. Ugh, something's coming for me. Headed for the keys. Be nice if the city could also, like, help with this attack. Also, my ship is on fire. I'm smoking pretty good here. Guess that treasure ship got off a couple good volleys. Yeah, um, no, 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 I'm not gonna talk to you. It's also been a while since I've been to a Dutch hideout. We talk. The Baron is in Havana. Alright. If I can beat him one more time, I should have everything I need to find my uncle. And then I might be able to find one more Incan City, and then I think I'm done. Like, I think I've done it all at that point. Ooh, beautiful. And that's a good price for the goods. I will sell them. And actually, it's a good price for the guns. Free money plucked from the ocean. All right, well, I'm glad you looked that up. Thank you. Forty tons. It's so much cargo space. I'm just gonna sell it. I think I'd rather move light and quick. Okay, we're looking for the Baron Raimundo, and if he leaves Havana, I want to be ready to intercept him. Let's 
troop transport, Spanish raider. What? Pirate hunter? You, won't, you don't want any of this, trust me. Ugh. Ugh. Wow, they were moving so fast, they actually ducked most of my shots. Yeah, fast stallion is not so fast when your sails are torn to pieces. You set sail in the direction of Via Hermosa. Via Hermosa. So he's headed that way. Alright. Wow, the garrison at Havana is super strong. You know what, I actually think I want to pop into the fortress and see where he's headed. Might see if I can find someone who can give me some clues. Ooh, tell me more. He is traveling to Via Hermosa. Okay. Alright, so we're chasing him. Oh. Gosh, I don't want to pay for that. I am awfully close to 100 fame, aren't I? If I could just... If I could just get there... Whoa, I almost ran aground. I got too... I was too busy talking to my preferred crew, not <laughs> the crew steering my boat. Almost ran it aground. I'm trying to actually remember now. Um... What on earth boosts fame? Oh, I mean, fame is your achievement points. I and mean, if I find my uncle, that should pretty much do it. And the next time I retire, I'm going to bank a lot of money, which should put me over the top as well. All right. Um, gosh. No sign of the Baron. He must have been zipping. Or he had a head start, and I just... Nope, that's a mil I was like, ah! Nope, military payroll. Oh, I love the Jesuit music when you go by. It's just fantastic. Alright, I don't want to get too close. They'll shell me. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is my wind? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, there it goes. There's the Baron. Sales are not happy about the angle I currently have them. Don't really blame them, but still. Come on, 
I'm trying to get close enough to hit him with grape shot, but not so close that I'm gonna board him. I'm getting older. I know I've beaten the Baron like six times, but I want an insurance policy in case I screw this up. Oh my gosh, he's so slow. He's so slow compared to the Marquis. Hey! This map should help you restore your family. South of St. Augustine? What is that, a lake? Right, fighting him. Oh, like he was so slow. Daggerhead? Is that a lake south of St. Augustine? Ah, he always has a tasty amount of treasure. Alright. Up near Port Freedom? Oh my gosh, it's gotta be like there, right? Yeah, okay, well, going to Florida, going to Florida, sunshiny Florida, yeah. Mm. Pirate Hunter, I want exactly nothing to do with you. God, you just won't give up, will you? I kind of missed with most of those. Thanks for the free gift of money, silly Spanish. All right, that's at the top. Yeah. Holy cow, that thing is on steroids! Stop chasing me! <laughs> I'm no longer interested in combat. I'm an old married man who just wants to find his uncle and go to bed. <laughs> right? The speedy ship strikes again. Spain, you should figure this out by now. Anything you send against me is just going to end up at the bottom of the drink. But again, if you want to give me a payday, I'll take it. Wow. Man, that is really up there. We're going for it, right? We're getting so close. The quest for 100 before I die of old age. <laughs> I think I think my character's like 38. <laughs> but I get it. It's, you know, it's like 1680. It's not quite as... Uh... He doesn't have access to all the medical marvels that we do. Plus, I'm pretty sure I never found... Um... I don't think I ever found any of that special native, like, healing salves, so I'm probably... Probably gonna just, yeah, die as soon as I retire. <laughs> right, as a man who is currently in his 37th year, um... <laughs> you know, they're like, oh, you're in poor health at 38. <laughs> Look, all right, I get it. I'm not 18 anymore, but I do my best. I work out, I eat good, I... Oh, come on, come on, come on. I 
I also I do enjoy like you know trying to manage your health in games like Crusader Kings where you have all this control but also it's like you keep going to banquets your character is now like an obese drunk like you know he's trying his best um I can't tell if I'm supposed to go to that lake or higher up. I mean, it looks like a lake, right? So I think I'm going to land and just walk across Florida towards Port Freedom. <sighs> so I, I finished an Iron Man. Uh, I didn't stream it. But I ended up, I started as King of Astorius in 867, and I ended as the Emperor of um, Hispania with a bunch of German and Scandinavian territories. And it was so much fun. I had an absolute blast uh, playing it. I did stream some Crusader Kings as um, the King of Yoruba Land, just trying to form the Empire of Guinea. Uh, that was mostly just a learn to play, though. Um, that was mostly a learn to play. Was a lot of fun. Alright, I'm looking for this lake. This lake in the cabin. Uh, it was CK3 the, that I did the uh, Empire of Britannia. So my uncle is near some arch rocks, a stone head, and a geyser. All right. There's a tree. There's another tree. But let's figure out if that's something I can work with. Two dead trees. Oh, wait, I think that's the lake ahead of me. Okay, so if this is a dead tree... Wait, there's an arch. I think I see a cabin. I think I see a cabin! I walked across Florida! Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So I started with two, and I very much enjoyed it. Um, I really like three. I think they took a lot of the things that they did right with two in some of the expansions and the DLCs, and they put it all together into a single piece. Um, t three feels so much more intuitive to me than two did. And I, you know, I get it. It's a paradox game. There's going to be a learning curve. I can't wait for Victoria three because Victoria two is a mess. I don't care what anybody says. That game is a nightmare to try and play. Um, so I'm very excited to see how they do with the third one. But I thought Crusader Kings three was a delight. Um, In terms of the interface, I think it's very crisp. It's very clean. Um, it's beautifully, it's gra graphically, it's beautiful. I love the character portraits where it's not just, you know, a person sort of looking off, but that you actually have some control of how you look and that your character, you know, if your character becomes obese, you clearly see it. If you have disfigurements from battle, like you'll clearly have scars or a missing eye, like it really helps the immersion i can't not get like invested when i play that game i mean i'm someone who games on a budget so i say go for where you can find a good deal you know if you see a deal on two um you know maybe give it a try uh i Probably I'm not going to play much of 2 anymore, only because I am enjoying 3 that much. Kind of like how I, I never play EU3 anymore, and I love EU3, because I so enjoy EU4. Not lately, but for the, you know, the general rule, right? I don't tend to go backwards. Um, and it was probably within like the first two hours of playing Crusader Kings 3 that I uninstalled 2, because I was like, I know myself, I know I'm not going to go back. Um... But that's, you know, everyone else has their own thing. I mean, to this morning, <laughs> earlier today, I was playing Might and Magic 4. So, you know, 
<laughs> so I really do like playing older games. They have their own unique charm, but I think 3 is a really good introduction to the series. Yay, I found my uncle, scrawny old man. Ah, I managed to obtain a piece of map. The Lost City of the Maya. Well, <laughs> Ivysaur, uh, the game has learned. If it gives me even the slightest bit, I'll be able to piece it together. But what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> I know it's by a deserted cabin and a totem somewhere in the world. Don't think I'm going to be able to piece this one together. Hold on to your butts. Finding my uncle only got me another point. Are you kidding me? I think I'm going to get it when I do my wealth points, but still. <laughs> Alright, guess I gotta just see if I can collect some more stuff. <laughs> right? 98 fame, my uncle is clearly just that unimportant. Whoa, the Spanish captured the Florida Keys? Come on, that's not what I really wanted to see right now. Ugh. Alright, alright, hold on. I need to get a situation here. English, Spanish, Dutch. Everyone's fighting Spain. And I don't feel like the Dutch have given me a proper reward in a while. So you know what? If I don't like the shape of the map, I'm going to redraw it. Spanish are disorganized. They're weak. Time to attack. I don't truthfully know where a good place to go is. Oh, why not? Let's just start here. Ha-ha! <laughs> I really don't want to trade shot for shot with these guys. Guess we're doing it. Actually, you know what? No, make them come to me. What am I thinking? Ah. Boy, here they come. Here they come. And I see there's bad guys in the woods. Ah, oh, give him the cold steel. Hit him in the flanks. Hit him in the flanks. Nice. Yeah, get in there, officers. You got the big morale panel, the morale boost. Nice. Just shooting at me, point blank range here. Oh, did you shot at the guys in cover? Thank you for that. Gosh, they've got a lot of muskets. Alright, I gotta figure this out and do this right. Jeez, they just crumpled. Hit them in the flags!
they also just, like, fell apart. What is going on here? Clearly my gunners are just this good. And flank them. Flank them. It's a thing of beauty. You hate to see it. Ugh, I don't think I can make that attack. Get into the woods. We're gonna surround these guys. They're angry. Should put a good hurting on these guys at least. Oh, shoot! That stinks. <laughs> they shot at the ones in cover. They shot at the ones in cover. That's what you want to see. All right. All right. Oh, really? There's like enemies right in front of you. Flank attack. Get them. And then officers will also do their own little flank attack. Beautiful. Give me this wealth. Oh, it's so good. Oh, 4,900. I love it. Yay. And it doesn't let me re recreate the city. It doesn't let me give it to anyone. Uh. <laughs> a discreet payment of 71,000. I only met with him because I was curious what uh, he would say. I was curious what he would say. I have an ant. Um, I'll die before age before I get all the way back there. <laughs> right? Nobody notices, like, a 71,000 gold payment would go, like, people would notice that. <laughs> Wait, I was already in the tavern. You guys got anything good? No, not really. Oh, gosh, I'm stuck on rocks. Alright, so where is the closest friendly place I could go? Probably Grand Bahamas. Although, if I do this right... <laughs> if I do this right... Hey! Hey! Stop shooting at me! Oh, Spanish jerk. Fine. Cannons go... Brrr. Yeah, you want to play that game? Punch giant holes in your ship. I'm more or less all missed. <laughs> right? I'm talking to the governor, and he's like, You're probably the most wanted man for the Spanish crown. Good day, Mr. Iago. <laughs> like, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Who knew this ship was just carrying all this, uh, all this luxury? Dang. Ugh. Here comes the Spanish. Actually, I can get a good price for this up at Grand Bahamas. We're going up. <laughs> right? Like, why wouldn't you have every single person in the colony trying to tackle me? The English attack on the Florida Keys was defeated. Oh, Spanish treasure ship. Big ol' galleon, come here, you. 
we're gonna have fun together. Well, I'm gonna have fun. You probably won't enjoy this. Hard turn, hard turn, hard turn. Beautiful. Oh gosh, they haven't surrendered yet? Ow! The wind is not my friend right now. Oh, there we go. Alright, actually went too far. Gotta go back, gotta go back. Trying to get to Grand Bahamas. Just want to get past the hurricane. Oh. Wind, why do you why are you like this? Oh. Just whatever direction I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go east, you're blowing 17 knots in my face. When I'm trying to go west, you're two knots at my back. <laughs> Look, I tried that one time and I got some serious looks from chat, so I I kept the the blowing to myself this time. <laughs> Capturing a Spanish thing, blah blah blah. An extra 950 acres. That's wonderful. Um Uh, you know what? I happen to have a diamond necklace. 5,000 in Santiago. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, tell me about St. Augustine. Hmm. Okay. It's right here in Grand Bahama. 34 a ton. Oh, this is beautiful. He ran out of money before I ran out of luxuries. That's how you know you got a good deal. Oh, the song in the English... Uh... The English ports is, is one of the best. Luxuries aren't nearly as good there. Or there. Or there. Eh. Not bad. Yeah, I think I just go back to Antigua, right? Or with the remaining health I have, I go looking for... The Baron, who is in Kumana. He'll give me one piece of the treasure map for my aunt. I will find her with that one piece. She'll give me a second piece to the Mayan city, and then I'll find it. That's totally reasonable, right? That could work. Oh, new governor's in Grand Bahama. Elethera just got attacked by pirates. I really don't want to try and sneak into Santiago. The last time I tried that, it went very badly. I did see that, right? Right after I leave, the economy flourishes. I suppose I could have turned around and gone back and they would have had the uh, more money for me, but we're going forward. <laughs> they were waiting for me to leave. You know what caused the economy to flourish? Me dropping off a bunch of money. Ah, 
Spanish Raider bound for Tortuga. Oh, the wind is not doing anyone any favors right now. Here we go. Ugh, that's it? It was barely worth it. Actually, 25's not bad. Let me just unload it here. Spanish Raider. Oh, there's a Dutch city. Well, I mean, it wasn't Dutch till it was, but uh, they might have something for me. Some joke about their bark is worse than their bite. Ugh, pirate hunters. take advantage of this fast win while I can. Tack back and forth. <laughs> I wreck the economy in every town I visit. Oh no! Oh no, this is the Spanish invasion force! They're gonna ruin all my plants! Where are they headed? They're gonna attack the place I'm heading! Tell me that's not gonna work! Yes! <laughs> I really didn't want the Spanish to take over another city that I was interested in visiting. Ah, uh, but now there's pirate raiders? They can't t catch a break there. And now the city's been downgraded. <laughs> because all their money was taken away by the pirates. It's fine. I am here to set things to right. There it is! I have been waiting for the Dutch to recognize that I am the man. Um, no, I'm not dancing with you. It's too much for me. Oh, the, the Baron is coming to me! The Baron is coming to me! Actually meant to tell them, yes, come on, Lord. I could use you for the fight ahead. What happened to all my money? I had almost... I had almost 280,000 at one point. I figured I would hit 300 at, uh, by now. And like, I, I've got like a 50,000 deficit. That can't possibly be right. They're all very happy. That's really weird. 
Like, I just happened to look, and he was like, oh, you've got this much money available. Are you kidding me? They took the money from me when I was in the Florida Keys? I specifically clicked escape to get out of there without that. So great. I handed 70,000 gold to a faction that I care nothing about. Are you out of your minds? I'm going to scream. All right, all right, all right. What the heck here? When did that happen? Arrival, battle. <laughs> that was the last time I had saved. Question is, had I already defeated him at that point? That is ridiculous. So apparently when you press escape, it takes the, it actually does the action instead of no thanks. I paid that dude $70,000 because of, I didn't even want to risk clicking it with the mouse. Because I was like, how dumb would that be? Instead it did it for me. All right, I saved it. I want to take a look here and see where I am. Had I already defeated him? Nope, I had not. Oh no, wait, oh wait, 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 hold on. Yeah, I hadn't defeated him yet at this save. So I have to take a $70,000 bath because of a misclick. Oh, I think I want to throw up into my hands. All right, you know what? I'm going to get my money's worth. There's 70,000 worth of gold. I'm going to take it from these people. I... I'm like Warden Gentles, you know? You cost me my promotion, George Bluth, and you will pay for the loss of $3,200 a year. You may leave with a bounty. This comment did not age well. Yeah, I cannot believe that. He's, he's on his way to Santiago. He set sail from Cartagena. I just cannot believe that. Like, in what universe, when you're looking at a menu option, does escape mean, yes, I'll do it? <laughs> I just, like, can't... Oh, I... Spain, I'm in no mood right now. To sell all of this stuff. Keeper, take everything. Everything that's not nailed down. Hey, Fleet, try not to wreck on the, like, reef right there, please, huh? I know I'm asking an awful lot from some of you. I just, like, can't believe that.
Ugh. Come on, wind. Like, just throw me a bone. Cannot believe that happened. Just go to the ship right. Oh, 28. You know what? It's good enough. <laughs> but he's now broke. Why did, why did it have me do a complete 180? Good heavens. Well, so there's the Baron. Hey! Are you out of your damn mind? I feel like such an amateur. I cannot believe. I didn't notice either. Yeah, that was tough to watch. I, uh... I'm all on tilt now from, like, all of this. Oh, Jesus, hell. He actually deflected me? For the like, they couldn't have come up with a random number generate a random name and been like, oh, it's Baron Raimundo. Now it's Baron so and so. Like, these are all like it's the same dude over and over again. Search in the vicinity of Santo Domingo. My lost aunt is by an Incan temple. Okay, turn and run. Run with the wind. Run with the wind. I got pirate hunters, I got and my fleet has just grown impossibly big. Search near Santo Domingo. Yeah, that that's not too bad. Come on, wind. I really need you to just help me get to port. Just gonna run before this ship. Are you kidding me? I'm going to have to make another montage of uh, me not being able to shoot. Oh my god. I'm like barely hitting him. He caught me. Down the stairs you go. I'm in no mood for this. Thank you for giving me the opportunity of a lifetime here. What is going on? Ah! Didn't even want to be a part of this stupid fight in the first place. Oh good, I'm almost out of pirates. Sinker, I am just... 
<laughs> that was too close. Uh, 100 fame, we did it, but I can't even feel good about it because I'm now just flailing about like some sort of drunken baby. <laughs> Everything that could be going wrong is going wrong. Ah. <sighs> All right, all right, you know what? Give me all the sugar you have. Give me all the spice you have. And I will give you more food. There we go. Now, let's go to the ship, right? That was just tough to watch. Okay, I can't be sailing around, though, with this many ships. I don't have enough manpower. Got graped twice, missed two shots, almost lost a sword fight. Yep. That one goes in the Hall of Shame. That was awful. I, I haven't even been drinking tonight. No, there's no wine. There's nothing here that explains the fact that I just was terrible. Ugh. There's pay talk. Oh, hey, there's Sid Meier without the beard. Every now and then you can find him. Alright, I need to get back to an actual city that has a proper size merchant so I can sell off my food and guns and my gigantic fleet. I could not believe I missed with every single one of those first shots. I mean, I can't. I've seen myself play this game. <laughs> right? <laughs> He's sitting in the cabin like, this is what I lost to. This is who I've agreed to, like, work for the rest of my life. Also, I dreamed a dream once that I beat him. It felt so real, but when I woke up, he was gone, and then he showed up and defeated me. All right, immigrants have arrived. I did make it to 100 fame. If I could just get rid of some of this dead weight and... Uh, regain my composure, I could go find my aunt and then see if she maybe has clues as to that last uh, city since ah, uh, cannot believe I paid off my bounty to the Spanish. I'm so embarrassed. Oh, whoa, whoa, I should start with the guns. I should start with the guns. They're giving out three per gun. That's not a price I often find. There we go. Now, sell the food. Just get it out of my hold so that I can sell the ships, please. There. Better. Alright. Looking for her in the vicinity of Santo Domingo. By an Incan temple and some geysers. Alright. My guess is she'll be east of Santo Domingo. That's where the land looks flattest. So let's try that. <laughs> I would definitely have above 300,000 right now if I, <laughs> I wasn't just a complete idiot. I have a PhD, you know. Holy cow. Like, just... Didn't even notice the Spanish just helping themselves to a big bag of my money. Alright, time to turn north here. <sighs> Pirating 101. The fame of Iago. So 
Let's see. We are looking for Incan temples and some geysers. I f My guess is it's to the east, but if we don't find it here, I'll go check out to the west. See what happens. Oh, good. The hills. I can't see anything. Oh, well, there's a geyser. Hmm, but I didn't say anything about arch rocks. Oh wait, there's another geyser. That's a deserted cabin. There's a geyser. Oh, I pressed the middle of the thing. I pressed return to ship and I didn't mean to. I was wondering what happened for a sec. Oh my gosh, there she is! <laughs> yes! One map and we got her! <laughs> Captain, where is she? Well, there's a cabin literally on the shore. It's so close, it might be underwater. <laughs> literally, all the dominoes have fallen into place for me this game. Like... It's been partial, almost partial maps for everything. My uncle, I needed all four because I had no idea how to find that stupid place. But everything else has been... Search in the vicinity of Veracruz. All right. What do you say, crew? You got one more in you? It's either going to be north or south of Veracruz. I don't have anything more concrete than that. Just a geyser and a cabin. But yes, I am stupidly lucky at this. Oh. Yeah, fame jumped up now that I found the whole family. Doesn't have as much money back as I was hoping. There we go. Alright. We're headed to Veracruz! I was gonna go to Curly. It would be cool if the family would at least help regain the 71,000 you lost to the Spanish government. I know. Ah, I have no one but myself to blame for that. I just... And I didn't even notice till I had left the city. Like, had I caught it right away, I could have simply reloaded the arrival and done it again. And... Didn't notice till, like, a year later in-game. Ah... <sighs> <laughs> and look, you know, sometimes you leave your bonfire, you die, you come back in, and a hollow jumps out of nowhere and stabs you in the back, and 71,000 souls just blip into oblivion. There's nothing to be done. <laughs> you just throw your controller, buy a new controller, and start playing again the next time you're feeling calm. No, right? Like, that's... <laughs> Oops, accidentally paid you. <laughs> Wire transfer by mistake. Accidentally handed over, like, one-fifth of my total wealth. Ugh. And I, I still am just flabbergasted at the control scheme. Like, I click escape, and the game is like, absolutely, you want to pay that money. 
I could see if I had hit enter, maybe spacebar, literally anything other than the button I pressed. Oh. <sighs> Come on. And again, like, I try to sail into the wind. 22 knots. I sail a w sailing with it. One. Two. Today was the last one, yes. We finished up. We went through a bunch of stuff about pain management and how to advocate for, you know, your level of pain with your physicians and what the different options are. And then we wrapped it up. So, last night of Lamaze. San Dominic del Val. Ah, come on, wind. Crew's gonna throw a fit before I ever make it to Veracruz. Now. I'm trying to judge from this coastline. The way it sort of goes in like that. I'm going to start south of Veracruz, and then I'll check the north. Oh, all right, all right. You bet north. Interesting. Well, let's see what happens as we get close. Finally, I'm almost there. But will I be able to find another city on a partial? It's not one fragment, but a partial fragment. God, am I there yet? Forget how big it is out here. Okay, there's Veracruz. That's right, the Spanish don't completely hate me right now. I have a letter of mark with them. Life is good. All right, let me start he down here and then see if I can find something. I'm looking for a geyser by the coast. All right, don't see a geyser. Let me just walk down the coast for a little bit in case a geyser becomes available. Ooh! A little dolphin is jumping there. There is a geyser. If this is the geyser, then I would have to head basically due west inland. Because what I would be looking for would be between a totem and a deserted cabin. So, be more like this way. Might not be the geyser I was looking for. That said some dead trees. Hmm. Alright, that was a geyser. It was not the geyser. Alright, let's try north of Veracruz. Hey, what are you shooting at me for? somewhere up here stop shooting at me you're an immigrant transport you really want to play with this <sighs> all right uh there's the city <laughs> no way <laughs> Wow. 
Well, I found a geyser. <laughs> My gosh <laughs> winner winner Mayan dinner you were right it was north you called it <laughs> that's three on four pieces of map that's three cities oh Lost relatives, 12 of 16. Who the heck else is there to find? Uh, I guess it would be because there's one more person, so one more city. The Incas, the Aztecs, and the Mayans. I'm going to have all the wealth points I need the next time I rest. I can't believe we found another one. Look at that, the crew's not even grumpy anymore. They're just fine. Because I've put that much money back in my own pocket. Is that a treasure ship? It's so big. Hey. I just cannot believe that. Oh, it's, I'm, you know, it's better to be lucky than good. I'm proof of that. Stop it. Got some money floating in the water there. Heart rate increases. <laughs> Pupils start to dilate. You see the treasure and you want the treasure. But I now am just so slow. Oh, and I don't have any crew members. That's going to be a huge problem. Yeah, I think I need to ditch that ship. Come on, first try. This needs to go, like, perfectly. Actually, I could probably just outrun the ship now. It's not honorable, but I'm a pirate. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, all right. Let's, uh... Ugh, I hate to just dump it because it's gorgeous, but I need more of my crew back. Trying to keep this stupid thing afloat. Actually, I could transfer my flag to the damaged ship and it would be slowly repaired over time. Come on, wind. Well, I've made it far. Is there any... Are there any villages over here that belong to a faction that is kind to me? There are not. Okay. Ooh, look at that. It's after 10. Probably should go and retire. I know there's another family member, but... They're just a means to an end. Ooh, 
we we were we were going for a hundred, and I think wow, my twenty percent share just doubled the amount of money I've been able to bank the entire game. The twenty percent of that massive chunk is gonna double what I've had all game. Just crazy. I thought so. I didn't think it was even going to give me the option. You retire at the age of 40 in failing health. You take up residence in the city of Ville de Dressor with the profession of governor. I didn't want to retire in that crappy pirate city. I'm joined by my wife, the beautiful daughter of the governor of Curacao. Your title of English Duke makes you an influential citizen. Your accumulated wealth of well over 111,000 gold pieces, plus my roughly 18,000 acres of land, provide you an extravagant lifestyle in a mansion near the town center. Vanquishing the evil Marquis de Montalban remains the highlight of your career. You were able to rescue three of your missing family members. Joy is tempered with sadness as you live out your remaining years. Your bold exploits make you the most notorious pirate on the entire Spanish main. The legend of your dazzling victories and incredible adventures grows with each passing year. I feel pretty satisfied with how that went. I don't have any Spanish rank, but who cares? They're just a punching bag in this game. I managed to defeat the villain once, very handily. Every other time I fought him it was a mess. Married a beautiful Dutch woman with 109 fame. I'm happy with that, right? I think that's pretty good. Ah, and I had fun doing it, and that's the important thing. Well, uh... Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> the character as a governor just looks wrong. But just think, it's like a it's like a cycle, you know? Someone else is gonna be doing the piracy thing in the Caribbean, and I'll be the one standing there in the room being like, Ah, you villain! The English government has a bounty on your head. Well, have a nice day. Enjoy your stay here in Ville de Tresor, former pirate hideout turned respectable English town. And I'll have some dude holding a tray who can, like, show you maps and be like, here's where the nearest ship is you'll want to attack. Here's a letter of Mark. Would you like to dance with my daughter? And the cycle just continues. Ah. If it's a cycle, you're going to scam another pirate by taking... <laughs> I will get my money back. I will scam any other pirate possible. Oh, you have a bounty? Let my guards hold you down while I go through your pockets. You're gonna pay me what I owed. And if I have to, I'll just take it off your ship. Whatever I need, I'll confiscate your ship. You're giving me back that money. I will never forgive the governor of the Florida Keys for screwing me over like that. Ah, uh, oh well. Thank you so much for watching. I really had a lot of fun. I hope you did too and came along for the ride. That was great. So I, uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing next week. Um, I'm feeling something point and click adventure. -y. I might finish the Quest for Glory series because we're up to the fifth one now. But uh, either way, I will decide when I get there. So have and I am back to my normal time. So it should be seven to nine next week. No more Lamas. So, but all right. Thank you so much. Have a great night.